My dear children, I am extremely anxious as I have already been notified that I have to leave Frankfurt the day after tomorrow. Unfortunately, my wish to see you again could not be fulfilled. I definitely want to say goodbye to you and wish you everything good that a mother can wish for her children. I am so nervous that I can't write anymore. Bertha Oppenheimer, 1941. In 1941, the Gestapo rented a part of the basement of Frankfurt's wholesale market hall. In the space of a few months, they deported 10,000 people persecuted as Jews from the city. A memorial in public space. A past that is not immediately visible and must be discovered. Because the people were not allowed to ride the tram, they had to walk with their luggage to the wholesale market hall, all the while running the gauntlet. And outside, the month of May is in full bloom. Chestnut trees, lilac, wisteria and apple trees. This beauty only causes us agony. Tilly Khan, 1942. The former wholesale market hall is now part of the European Central Bank. In 2015, parts of the basement were turned into a memorial. The rooms were barely large enough to hold the hundreds of women, men and children, but they hid the crime from curious eyes. The Gestapo and employees of various government agencies robbed the people persecuted as Jews of their remaining valuables. They carried out humiliating body searches, cancelled their passports and confiscated their house keys and foot ration cards. After an agonizing wait, the prisoners were taken to the tracks in front of the hall, where the deportation trains stood ready. I don't know what lies before me. Maybe that's good. Ernst Ludwig Oswald. 1942. Here, they boarded the passenger cars of the Deutsche Reichsbahn and were deported to the ghettos, the concentration camps and the extermination camps. To Lodz, Minsk, Kovno, Majdanek, Izbisa, Sobibor, Theresienstadt and the Estonian town of Rasiku. The Gestapo carried out the deportations in the midst of the daily market activity. When I came to the office in the morning, closed railroad cars guarded by the Gestapo were standing further out on the tracks. All of this occurred many times, and I was not the only one who knew what was happening there. Many people knew. A secretary at the wholesale market hall. No date. Very few people survived the deportations. Seven-year-old Edith was one of them. My mother had packed the bare necessities for us. She wanted to come with us, but that was not allowed. After the sliding door had closed, it was opened one more time. A man called out, Lift the two girls up again. Their mother wants to see them one more time. Edith Erbrich. Nay, bear. 2003. Quotes from the murdered people, survivors and witnesses have been engraved on the paths and walls of the memorial site. They paint a fragmentary picture of events and encourage us to engage more deeply with the crime. 